Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ina. So in today's video, we'll be looking at the different ways that we can view log files in a Kali Linux machine. I'm logged into a Kali Linux machine and I have a terminal open here. The most common way to look at a log file is to use a command called journalctl. So if you type this command, you see the, uh, the logs that show the date, the time, and then the actual log. There's different kind of uh, logs on the, on the machine. We have, we have system, uh, system logs, we have application logs, we have authentication and login uh, logs. Now, once you have this log, it's going to start from the very beginning. If you want to go to the end of it, you can press shift g or uppercase g and that should take you all the way to the end or to the newest log and if you wanted to go back to the very beginning you can use just press g and it should take you to the very first line there's another variation of this now to get out of this just press the control c if you wanted to do like a continuous refresh of the logs using the same command what you can do is you can add a dash f option at the end so CTL F, and with this one, if something, if you are watching the logs and something, a, a new log is logged to the file, you should be able to see it. So we can generate a log here. I'll open another terminal. Let's do system CTL. Start search, and then we can just close this out. Now, as you can see here. Uh, a log was generated when I tried to do that, uh, run that command. Now there's another way to look at logs. You can go to the location or the directory where most of the logs are contained on the machine. And this will be under the, the var slash log folder. We'll change directories to it. Go to var log. Then we'll list the contents here. And as you can see, there's quite a few different logs for applications, for authentication. For instance, we have last log for the last time somebody uh, logged in. There's for daemon applications, daemon.log. Uh, there's authentication, auth.log, Apache 2. So depending on what you're looking for, you can just look at that uh, file using a, a cat command or less command. We'll go ahead and uh, look at the different, a few, a few examples. The most common one you'll see is this uh, syslog file, which contains a, a system log. So it should be down here somewhere, right here. So we'll look at that one, which should be kind of similar to the journal CTL output. So we'll do, we can just do a cat command, log, then this one was syslog. And this one also, it's just gonna show us, it's gonna go to the very end of the uh, file and show us any logs. You can also use the refresh with this one, or you can do uh, the tail to just see the last 10 and, and also do a refresh, dash F and then syslog. And if in any new event happens, it should report it. Let's see if we can try to generate a log here. Now this one did generate uh, its own log for an, a daily app download for software. And that's under system D. And also another one here for an update on a database. The next logs we'll look at uh, authentication and authorization logs. These are found under the auth.log file and we can view them using the cat command as well. We can say cat log auth log and this should show us any logs associated with authentication. We can also do a, a refresh 
option as well. So say tail uh, dash f is to auth log and then we'll try and see if we try to authenticate what would happen. And that should generate a, a, a log here for authentication failure for the user email right here. What you can also do is if you're just looking for specific failures in the log, uh, you can just filter that. Now we can use the cat command to filter the authentication uh, logs if you have looking for specific like failure logs you can say cat log grab failure this should show you just logs for failed authentication other logs that are contained in the uh, var slash log directory are for applications specific applications and for like uh, daemons which run in the background, uh, for instance, we can do cut uh, log uh, daemon uh, log. And that should should show you logs for uh, applications running in the background. Another one is for specific applications like Apache server. For instance, if you go to just change to uh, Apache 2, see there should be an Apache So we have an Apache 2 directory here. You can list the contents and you do see you have access log, error log for just that particular application. So cut access log. So there's nothing in this files. So those are the different ways you can view uh, log files in a Kali Linux machine. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.